Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Bully Scholarship Edition on the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti for FPS monitoring, I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to support me, there are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description as well. So Bully Scholarship Edition, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4k. To skip down at those sections of the video, check the description below. So while well, yeah, I know this game is from 2008, is pretty much at the end of this year will be 10 years old, which is interesting. This is from Rockstar Games, it's one of my favorite games from the PS2, then it got released then it got released on the Wii, and after that it got a remaster for saying in some way for PS3 and Xbox 360 that also was released for PC, which is what I'm testing today, which is called Bully Scholarship Edition. It has better maps, better graphics, all that kind of stuff, but it was from the time that Rockstar made the GTA 4 PC port, which was a terrible PC port. Well, this is no different. This is a terrible, terrible PC port, but at least you can get very high frame rates nowadays. I always like to revisit some old games to see how they perform at higher resolutions. That's why I'm testing 4K. And revisiting old games at higher resolutions is always interesting. You can see how the games really look like and how they scale as time goes on. So, well, first of all, I need to talk about some of the issues with this game mouse acceleration it has a 30 frames per second cap and it has like two options in the options menu you have vsync on or off resolution msaa you have two times four times and eight times and you have the shadow quality option which is off low medium and high to unlock the frame rate i just got a mod link down in the description it's an executable you just put it on the folder of your game replace the executable and you just enter the game and the frame rate will be unlocked but just keep in mind that if the game goes over 60 frames per second it will just go in fast motion so at 1080p for example i got like 120 frames per second or even 200 frames per second and the game was just in fast motion i couldn't select any option in the options menu because the menus were just when i press down in the keyboard it went like 10 options below which is unusable so what i did was enabling vsync from the in-game option if you want proper vSync, I recommend using NVIDIA Inspector or the Media Control Panel to cap it at 60 frames per second, since that's where the game should have the less issues, or just play at 30 frames per second, but I wouldn't recommend it that much. If you can do 60, just fine. But yeah, I recommend capping it at 60 with vSync, or by just locking the frame rate using a third-party application. Link on how to do so down in the description as well. But yeah, this seems to be just double buff of B-Sync, which means that if it drops below 60, it will cap to 45 and then to 30, and the game will be very choppy. So I recommend using an external solution. But well, on 1080p and 1440p, I could easily use the highest settings with 8x MSAA. I know 8x MSAA is ridiculous, but at 1080p and 1440p, we have more than enough GPU power to spare. And well, then at 4K, it was a different story. I had to disable MSAA and sometimes you will see that the game will be very very choppy at drop to 45 fps or something like that that's due to the vsync solution that is not the proper one to use so at 4k i will disable vsync and cap the game at 60 frames per second using a third party application in order to have proper 60 frames per second you can see the issues with vsync in this video when i'm going very fast through the map to a place with a lot of grass or something like that when it's loading a lot of stuff in the background and also another issue that i noticed was that the shadows flicker that seems to be due to the unlock frame rate so keep that in mind shadows like to flicker quite a bit sometimes but it's not unplayable in my opinion i played it quite a bit back then on the ps2 and the ps3 so in my opinion it's a fantastic game that you should try out it's usually five dollars on steam sales so i would recommend it at that price or lower but yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this look back thanks for watching and see you next time Start my own.
Hello, can I help you? Hope to see you soon. Clever and to the point. Stop this instant! Everyone blames the teachers and the students. But I have to say it's the world in general. Oh no. So yeah, anyways. Ugh, I'm never going to get married. You are full of it! Choices are what you need to work on.
It's your own fault. Hey, don't worry. Uh, what was don't do stupid? Hey, you freak. If you ain't worth it, but oh well. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bust your gun up and watch you bleed. How'd you like this, freak? Get out of How my face. This one?
I'm gonna hurt. Come on, Carly. Step back. my way <laughs> you're going down you're gonna wish you were <laughs> issues. Oh, Had enough already? Oh, wow, I'm really hurting here. <laughs> 